What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Midwest family. Today I got a little tip on bait traps. I use this one primarily for mice in our area. Being in the rural area, we got a lot of mice. Uh, we don't have any barn cats or farm cats or whatever you want to call them. Um, so this is the way we decided to go um, to help take care of our uh, mice mice issues out here. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. Um, I saw this on another YouTube channel. I can't remember who it was, but it, uh, it was not my design. But uh, it's a pretty simple, easy thing you can make. Um, the bottom here is two inch schedule 40 for me. Same thing over here. This is a two inch by two inch by inch and a half T. The riser here is inch and a half. Um, you can get a, a 10 foot stick of the two inch schedule 40, I think right now for like nine bucks. These are a, a foot long. Uh, they're not glued fittings. Um, you could glue them if you want, but I got a, a straight cut on one end and kind of like a, a 45 cut on the other. Um, this is just like a, a one foot long, uh, just pretty uh, easy, just a foot long piece um, and a cap with a little hole in it. Um, the first couple I made I used all thread and you put your bait blocks in this tube. I'll show you some, but uh, you put a, be your bait blocks in the tube and they stick down a little bit. and. The little guys come in here, they eat what they want, and then they can leave. Um, and it just kind of auto feeds down. Um, so it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, keeps the dogs and the kids out of it. Uh, they're, like I said, they're cheap. If you go to the store and get like a, you know, commercial bait box or, you know, $20, $30. Um, I think these are about, depending on how many you want to make, they're only about, I don't know, six bucks, seven bucks a piece by the time you get all the parts. Um, I think the T's about 250 and the cap's about a dollar. Anyway, so some of them I used all thread with a nut and a washer on the bottom. Um, and then later on I just ended up using uh, bailing wire. So funny. I'm watching. You're laughing at me. So we'll, uh, I'll show you a couple of them that I made that are outside and we'll uh, see how they're doing. Let's check it out. Alright, so I don't, I can't remember exactly how many of these I built and put out already. Um, I think there's like six around the house. Um, probably two or three around each of the pole sheds. So we got uh, two, four, six, eight. There should be about, I don't know. A dozen of them out right now. Um, here's one kind of out by a small little wood pile catch all. Um, this one's got bailing wire in it, but uh, you know, you can use whatever you got on hand. The all thread would work or the bailing wire. Um, twist that a little bit, and you can see. This one's been nibbled on, so I mean they've they're eating it. Um, so it's they work. But um, like I said, uh, we got a couple by the cars to try to keep them from getting into the cars. Um, they got into my wife's car and chewed on the engine harness. Uh, so I had to fix that, that was cool. Um, but the, the bait traps are fairly easy to do. Um, all you really need is a hacksaw to cut the pieces, um, tape measure marker, um, and a drill to drill the cap. But they're pretty easy to do, pretty uh, 
you know, pretty inexpensive. Um, I think a bucket of the poison blocks, uh, they got the holes in them already. Uh, those are, I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that. Uh, I got tractor supply. Um, but for, uh, for mouse prevention out here, it seems to work pretty well. We got a year on them, roughly. Yeah. Yeah, about a year. Uh, and they seem to work pretty well. Uh, we don't seem to, we don't really see evidence of the mice anymore. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's something going for us. Uh, we can check another one up by the cars and see how that one looks. So here's uh, the one by the cars. Or you can kind of tuck down in there. This one has the, uh, the all thread on it. But I mean, you can tell that it's been there a while. You can kind of look down in there see the bait hanging there it's not touching the bottom of the pipe in case water or something gets in there so they're elevated just a little bit but uh, I mean you you can see this one's starting to mold um, and it looks like something's been nibbling on it a little bit a chunk missing there so, I mean, if it helps keep them out of my car, I'm okay with that. So we got another one in the old horse corral. Um, kind of just tucked out here. Before we cleaned it out, there was a lot of evidence of mice and other things living in here. But uh, you can see it there up against the wall. Hold that uh, pitchfork. Um, been there a while. See they're all kind of dirty. This is another one with the uh, all thread. So it's one of the first ones I've made. Oh. You can see the, I don't know if you can see that, but the bottoms have been nibbled on. So they're, uh, Thumbs in there enjoying their last meal. Hopefully before they make it to our house. But so there's a couple of them. Like I said, we got like six of them around the house and we got two or three around each of the buildings. Um, like I said, we don't have cats around here. Um, I looked at getting like some farm cats and stuff, but I just, I don't know. I'm allergic to cats and the wife would wanna keep them up to date on all their vaccines and shots and all that stuff, which I, I don't really blame her. Can't really blame her on that because, uh, you know, they're gonna be around the kids and the dogs and we don't need anything happening so we went this route and like I said it seems to work pretty good and we'll see how it goes from here on forward but uh, you know you, you don't have to be in rural a rural area to do it I mean there's mice in the city so um, you know if you uh, live in a fairly wooded area or back up to a creek or something like that yeah it's something that might interest you but uh, it's uh, just one thing we're doing here. Yeah. Picking up Greg's poop. So that's just uh, one of the ways we use to control our mice population here. Uh, it seems to work. And we're gonna just keep an eye on them with the cold season coming up and Make sure they stay full for the winter and all that so we keep the keep the mice at bay. But I hope that helped you out, got you a little insight, and maybe gave you an idea of uh, a way to make a, your own bait station. 
instead of spending all the money on the commercial ones that are out there. Um, they were pretty cheap to do and easily made. So, hope you stick around. See you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.